Welcome to The Twist. I'm Erica Gray. And this is Don Pravda speaking. Today we're going to talk about a recent act, the U.S. just the Taiwan Public Act of 2022. And Don, it's bad enough that Nancy Pelosi goes to Taiwan and stirs up conflicts with the Chinese. But now enacted this, the Taiwan Policy Act of 2022. What's your thoughts on this act? Act, I think they, uh, they should go to a different act. Try comedy. That would be better than, than that act. It's a very serious time. And we're provoking a possible war with China. However, we could simply state we back uh, Taiwan, we're great admirers of Taiwan and their freedom, but why risk a world war? And Biden just came out on 60 Minutes, and we both saw that, yes. and stated that the U.S. would send troops. I mean, what are we doing? What are we doing in our U.S. foreign policy? Not to mention the Taiwan Act states that they create a new initiative to bolster Taiwan's defense capabilities, providing almost $4.5 billion in security assistance over the next four years and designating Taiwan as a major non-NATO ally. What are we doing in our foreign policy? Why are we the police of the world but just staring up the other empires? What's your thoughts? Why do we have to be the police officers of the entire world? I don't see why this is necessary. I don't see why this is good for the United States. Obviously, we are allies of Taiwan in the democratic process, but do we want another war? I think the United States does. But how about China just issuing sanctions? against Boeing and Raytheon. And they've got orders with Boeing that are worth like hundreds of millions of dollars that are now going to be canceled because they're sanctioning the companies and they're sanctioning individuals. So where does the U.S. Defense Department win when the empires who purchase from these companies start to sanction them? Where do they win? Nobody wins. Everybody loses. And it's very unfortunate. And we just continue to get in trouble and stir the pot in places where we don't need it. Don't you think that maybe Biden is smoking crack? Well, he's got a 49% rating. He's had a little bump these days. However, he's an 80-year-old and... Smoking crack? Right, possibly. We sure hope not. A third of the world's shipping passes through the uh, South China Sea. And the South China Sea, there's a parallel with Ukraine. Also a area rich in product, rich in oil reserves and gas reserves, where Ukraine is rich in wheat and other agricultural products. So we see the United States wanting these areas or kind of staking a claim to these areas that are rich in p potential products. And also let's not forget that, you know, Taiwan is the chip maker of the world. Again, this seems to be another conflict about product and the acquisition of product that can possibly boost. And, and let's face it, with product also comes the shady deals that are behind the scenes that can promote some of this policy. What's your thoughts there? Well, I can't tell you very much about the shady deals, but uh, you just wonder, you think about Korean War, Vietnam War, and, uh, the former Yugoslavia, we've, coming out of a Cold War, then Iraq and Afghanistan. How much more do we have the capacity for? Do we really have the stomach uh, for these, uh, these possible casualties and calamities in the future? No. 
and they've wrecked the world economy. The world economy is now wrecked thanks to Western sanctions. We have U.S. and European policymakers to thank for our economy now, and the essentially it's as if we're hitting a an inflation or a hyperinflation. The electricity soon in, at least in Connecticut, is going to double in price. Double in price. There's a 60% increase now in oil prices right. in Connecticut, and I'm certain heating these oil. have also hit, yep, heating oil, uh, other parts of the United States as well. I mean, this is major. You go to the grocery store, and the prices have just escalated and I don't know what's going to happen with the poor in the United States. I mean, my heart really is going out to families that are already struggling and poor that are already struggling when these changes in a few months are going to hit. And again, thanks to U.S. foreign policy. And now Taiwan, we already are, are just maxed out on a deficit. And what are we going to just max it out more? I mean, until it finally just collapses, the dollar finally collapses. Well, we're right in the brink of vast change in world civilization. And uh, somehow it always points to arms and uh, more weapons, more planes, more war. Well, that's on the part of the United States. Yes. Uh, we've become a country of known for initiating wars. And it's, I don't understand it, to spur economic growth. I mean, to, I don't understand it because it's now leading to our country's demise. And where is Israel going to fit in all of this? When this takes place in the United States, the United States is a big supporter of Israel, and we provide Israel with a lot of dollars. And what's going to happen when the United States just explodes, so to speak, because our dollar is going to tank? I mean, what's going to happen then with our support that we're, we're giving nations? And that's another area, is we're supporting nations uh, and promising money to nations that I don't even have a clue as to why we're promising that as well. Yeah, when virtually there's no money in the bank and uh, the food shelves uh, are lacking in the necessities. So what is the bottom? Where does the money come from? Where do babies come from? That used to be a big question. Where's the money come from? Where, where's the backing? What's the future? Where do babies come yeah. from in relation to where this money? I don't know how you came up with that, but believe it. Um, so, yeah, this is really, really scary. It's just scary stuff. I, I don't know what our policymakers are thinking, but that's what we always talk about on this show. We yes. seem to like to highlight the brilliant U.S. foreign policy and what's making the United States so great uh, again is, um, and that's just being funny, because it's not. It's lending to the United States' right. demise. I really don't understand. It was bad enough that we provoked the panda, and but even worse now with the Taiwan Policy Act of 2022. So that's it for today's commentary. Any last words from you, Don? Yes. Happy New Year. May your New Year be filled with luck and success good health, and wealth. Shana Tova, Happy New Year, and good night.